Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 restaurant employees admit which foods they'll never order. So, we all go to restaurants from time to time, whether it's a fast food restaurant or a high class dining experience. Of course, on their menus it tells you what's in the food, but what's really in the food and how's it prepared? Well, here are some things you should never order according to restaurant employees. Before you place your order, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 is popcorn. So you won't find popcorn at most restaurants, but where you do find it is at movie theatres. Pretty much everyone who goes to the movie theatres buys popcorn. The downside to popcorn is it's very expensive, but very cheap for them to make. Did you know that popcorn has the highest profit margin out of any food? That is because one box of popcorn costs around 20 cent to make. But of course, they sell it to you for around $10. But that's not the only bad thing about popcorn. One experienced movie theatre confectionery worker called You Ate Your Parents says don't get popcorn for the first showing. But why can't you get movie popcorn on the first showing, you may be asking? Well, that is because it's simply last night's popcorn. Just think about it, movie theatres make a ton of popcorn, actually too much. But instead of throwing away old popcorn, they simply put it in giant garbage bags. They store the popcorn in giant garbage bags and then reheat it in the warmers in the morning. So if you decide to buy popcorn for the first showing, just know you're eating last night's popcorn. And if you guys have ever had day old popcorn, you know it's pretty nasty. It's not dangerous to eat, but seeing as popcorn's so expensive, you want to get something good for what you're paying for. Next up is Starbucks Secret Menu. So, chances are most of us go to Starbucks every now and then. For some people, it's a daily routine to pick up a coffee in the morning. But despite Starbucks being a coffee shop, one of their most popular products is their Frappuccinos. Frappuccinos are often very over the top and are great for Instagram. That drink just looks like 100,000 likes. But have you realized that despite all the crazy Frappuccinos people ask for, none of them are on the menu? Well, that is because at Starbucks, you can actually go off the menu. In fact, Starbucks policy is they'll make anything as long as they have the ingredients. So really, there's no secret Starbucks menu. When you ask for a unicorn Frappuccino, for example, the employees don't know what that is. So if you want one of these secret drinks, just explain it, don't name it. The names aren't officially made by Starbucks and are instead made by other people online. But one barista called Justine7179 says please don't order from the secret menu. Every time you order one of these custom drinks, the staff get very annoyed. They have to go off menu and make something they know nothing about. It can often take them ages to make the drink. And it may be their first time ever making it, so don't get annoyed if they don't do it right. If you see somebody ordering one of these secret frappuccinos, chances are the barista's eyes are gonna roll. And one barista even said that they purposely make people's drinks wrong if they ask for something from the secret menu. So guys, stick to the regular Starbucks menu. It's got enough on it. Next up is soup. So this one may sound like a blanket statement. But according to one restaurant worker called Seagull Hunter, you should never order soup. But why is this? Well, the reason why is because soup is made in giant quantities. They always have soup left over, but they don't usually throw it away. Now, of course, old soup is fine if it's cooled properly. But according to this restaurant worker, soup never gets cooled properly at night. Instead, it's put in a big container and it stays lukewarm for hours. This loses the soup's flavor and makes it taste nasty. So if you ever get soup at a restaurant, always ask if it's made the same day you ordered it. If it was made a day or two days before, then don't order it. And you should also never get soup for lunch. This is because restaurants often use last night's soup for lunch. They then make a new batch in the day for dinner, so dinner soup is often fresh. Next up is soda with ice. When you go to a fast food restaurant and get a soda, they always give you a bunch of ice. One of the reasons for this is to save money. This means they don't have to put as much drink in the cup as it's filled up with ice. But there's a more important, grosser reason why you should always say no ice in your drinks. A Mercola study found the bacteria in ice at McDonald's, Burger King, KFC and Starbucks is way more than in toilets. That's right, the ice in your soda is dirtier than a toilet. But why is this? Well, people aren't confusing the bathroom for the ice machine. Instead, it's because bathrooms are often cleaned. If you go to most fast food restaurants, the bathrooms are pretty cleaned. This is because they have a dedicated cleaner. But did you know that one of the least cleaned things in restaurants are ice machines? Ice machines are very rarely cleaned. While toilets are cleaned out multiple times a day, ice machines may stay unclean for months. So guys, next time you buy soda, always ask for it without ice. That way your cup will have more drink in it and much less bacteria. Next up is cocktails with fruit. So fast food ice machines are a no-go. But you might have thought that bars would be safe. Well no, despite the purpose of bars being made to serve you drinks, sometimes they don't do it too well. According to one barman named bgar 312 you should never get cocktails with fruit at a bar. This is because the lemons, oranges and limes are never properly washed. And of course with fruit cocktails, the skin is left on the fruit. 
Not only that, they're often handled and cut with way to spare hands. That's right, nobody's wearing gloves when they're handling a fruit. According to this bartender, this is the case for 95% of bars. So unless you're going to one of the cleanest bars in the world, then chances are somebody's going to be handling your fruit. Next up is the 8 page rule. So this isn't advice saying don't order a specific food. Instead, it's saying don't go to a certain restaurant if it breaks this one rule. According to one anonymous restaurant worker, if he goes into a place with more than 8 pages on the menu, he leaves. The reason why is because this means all of their food will be heated up in the microwave or boiled in plastic bags. Any place with more than 8 pages on their menu makes way too many things. Top Chef Gordon Ramsay even said a menu should never be more than 4 pages. But then again, he's probably a bit of a food snob. This restaurant worker, however, says 8 pages is the maximum. So guys, if you want fresh food, then ensure the place has less than 8 pages on their menu. Any more, and you may be eating microwave food. Next up is vegetarian pizza. Only 3.2% of the USA claim to be vegetarian. But despite this, there's over 10,000 vegetarian restaurants in the USA alone. But if you ever go to a restaurant vegetarian or not, never get vegetarian pizza. According to one restaurant worker named Tweebel the Scientist, there is animal fat in the sauce. Of course, vegetarian pizzas still have a sauce on them. And one of the key ingredients of vegetarian pizza sauce is animal fat. Animal fat acts as a natural thickener. Thickener. This is the case in regular pizzas too. In fact, pretty much every pizza sauce has an animal fat in their sauce to act as a thickener. Thickener. But of course, when it comes to vegetarian pizza, vegetarians don't want to be eating animal fat. So if you happen to be vegetarian or vegan, then don't get the vegetarian pizza. Or if you do, at least check with the chef that there's no animal fat in the sauce. But according to Tweebel the Scientist, this is pretty much an industry standard, so stay away. Next up is tuna salad. So this one comes from someone who works at a sandwich shop called Seven Roast Beef Sandwiches. Wow, that name really is fitting. Anyway, they say at work they make a lot of tuna salad sandwiches. However, according to them, they say that you should never order the tuna salad sandwich. That is because when tuna salad is made right, it's thick. But according to them, at restaurants, it's never made right. In fact, it's almost always very soupy. According to them, restaurants use three cups of mayo per giant can of tuna. They also use a lot of celery and onions as a secret ingredient. But despite that being a lot of mayonnaise, it wasn't enough. Apparently, they sometimes even include the water the tuna comes in. This makes the tuna salad very soupy and nasty. So guys, unless you can verify that your tuna salad sandwiches are nice at your restaurant, then don't order them. At least, that's what this sandwich shop veteran says. Next up is cheese dip. More specifically, according to a restaurant worker called Bradley D00, any cheese dip. They say no matter where you buy it or how fancy it sounds, cheese dip is pretty much all butter and cream cheese. They say restaurants only put in enough actual cheese to make it taste like the real deal. But in reality, most cheese dips are under 5% cheese. It's mostly just butter and cream cheese, which is pretty unhealthy. This restaurant worker described it as half a day's calorie intake in a small bowl. So if you guys are watching your figure and think a small bowl of cheese dip won't hurt, then think again. I have to say a bowl of butter dip doesn't sound nearly as nice. It definitely sounds more unhealthy, and according to this restaurant worker, it definitely is. They say they would never get cheese dip anywhere, even a classy restaurant. So guys, be warned next time you get cheese dip. Or at least ask the waiter what percentage of the cheese dip is real cheese. Next up is grilled chicken and filet o fish So this is a McDonald's related one. We all know McDonald's have had a few food scandals. But despite this, we pretty much all go there as they're pretty delicious. But according to one ex-McDonald's worker named Casey Twist, there's two things you should never buy. Those two things are the McDonald's grilled chicken sandwich and also the filet o fish This is because they often make a lot of these at once. Instead of making them fresh, they simply make tons for the whole day. And according to Casey, the grilled chicken and the filet o fish would sit there for a long time. They say this is when they worked in a McDonald's in Canada. Who knows what it's like around the world. But chances are, if it's like that in Canada, it's the same everywhere else. Personally, I prefer Big Macs anyway, so this isn't a big deal for me. But are you guys going to think twice before getting a grilled chicken or filet o fish If you do order one, just make sure it's fresh. Otherwise, they may just be giving you an old one. Next up is the ingredient rule. So with this rule and the 8 page rule, you can't go wrong. We all know the 8 page rule is always walk out of a restaurant with more than 8 menu pages. But another restaurant worker named Ank6 shared his restaurant tip. He says if you see something on a menu and can't find at least one or two other items that the ingredients can be used in, don't order it. But why is this? Well, this is because the item clearly isn't ordered very frequently. This means it won't be fresh and the food you'll be eating may be a few days or even weeks old. He says at his restaurant there's a pulled pork sandwich. But he says they don't use pork in anything else. 
So the pulled pork sandwiches they serve up are days and sometimes even weeks old. Now make no mistake, this food isn't going to get you sick, but it definitely won't be fresh and could taste pretty nasty. When you're paying for food at a restaurant, you want to make sure it's good. So make sure you always think about the ingredient rule before ordering. You never know, it could be the difference between eating something made today and something made weeks ago. Next up is truffle oil. So foods with truffle oil are usually served at fancy restaurants. Because these restaurants are so fancy, you may assume that everything is fresh and nice. But according to one restaurant worker named Res357, this is not the case. He says he never orders anything with truffle oil. According to him, it has a synthetic smell. And most shockingly of all, truffles are not used to make it. Instead, it's made from a compound called 2,4-Dipipentane. This compound can either be natural or petroleum-based. That's right guys, petroleum based. They then mix this compound with regular olive oil and that makes truffle oil. So guys, despite truffle oil sounding and looking fancy, don't be fooled. Next up is Volcano Roll. Do you guys like sushi? Sushi originated in Japan, but Americans love it. In fact, 30% of Americans say that sushi is their favorite food. But according to one guy who worked in a sushi restaurant, there's one sushi dish you should never order. That is the Volcano Roll. Volcano Rolls are seen as pretty fancy sushi dishes. One guy called Edgar said that when he worked in a Japanese restaurant, they would sell them for $7.25 a piece. Now, that is pretty steep, but what even is a volcano roll? Well, he says it's simply a California roll with about 10 cents of fish put on it. Then it's simply heated up and topped with spicy mayonnaise. But everyone knows that California rolls are pretty basic, and Edgar says his ones only cost $3.75. So they pretty much double the price, and all they do is put a bit of sauce and fish on it. He says you're much better off buying a California roll and then paying 50 cent extra for spicy mayonnaise on the side. You can then simply ask them to heat up the California roll for free. And voila, you have your own volcano roll for free. This is a pretty good tip for anyone who eats lots of sushi. The reason why volcano rolls are so expensive is because it's a bit of a gimmick. I have to say, they do look very impressive, but according to Edgar, they're kind of a scam. Have you guys ever been tricked by a volcano? Volcano roll before? If so, maybe try Edgar's California roll life hack. Next up is don't sweat. So in this list, we've covered a lot of things where restaurant workers say they won't order certain foods. But guys, I had to include a voice of reason in this video too. One restaurant worker called BigUps43 says it really doesn't matter. He says generally restaurants are very clean and safe. And he says your daily routine exposes you to much more risk than a lime that may not have been washed. For example, your phone has tons of germs all over it. And if you kiss anyone or shake hands, then that's a ton of germs too. So he says don't sweat and just enjoy your drink. Big Ups pretty much says don't worry about food in restaurants and cafes. And I have to say I agree. While it is good to know all these facts, restaurants in general are pretty clean and safe. So guys, don't be put off and never go to restaurants because of what these restaurant workers say. But it is always handy to take into account the words from experts. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, vote for the most amazing admission by a restaurant employee. I think it's truffle oil, as I always assumed it was made with truffles. If you guys want more amazing videos and tips, then check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.